I started investing in real estate in 1995. So for a point of comparison, can anybody tell me what rates were in 1995? 8.5. Right now they're five, they're, they're, right now they're sitting at five and a half. Which means when I started investing, rates are still three points lower than they were then. Anybody know what rates were in uh, 2000? 8.75. Anybody buy a house in 2000? I bought a lot of them in 2000. Okay. Uh, anybody know what rates were in 2005? 6%. Rates in 2015, 3.5%. Rates fluctuate. They're all over the board. It doesn't mean we stop buying, okay? Right now, the industry is shocked. Uh, I think it was Michelle who shared an article with me that they refer to the market right now as having a, ma a massive hangover. Some of you know what that feels like, <laughs> okay? This hangover of last night was amazing, but I don't know where I am this morning, okay? <laughs> Yesterday, rates were at three and a half. Today, they're at five and a half, and the market's going, what's going on right now? And the market is like, go nuts. What do we do? We buy. We always buy, okay? We just adjust the prices that we pay. But for our investors, they need to be adjusting what they will pay a ready-made seller and what they anticipate selling it for. So loan analysts, when you're on the phone with them, help them have a little degree of realism about what they're buying, where they're buying, and where markets are headed. Certainly don't kill deals but encourage them to go back to the seller and renegotiate better pricing because that's the, that's the play right now. If you're in a deal that you haven't closed on, go back, renegotiate pricing. Now, as we go through this, here are the two key strategies that our clients need to be utilizing and focusing on. Please write these two down, okay? The first one is what's called subject to buying. Does anybody know what subject to means? George, real loud. subject to an existing mortgage, okay? So we're gonna come in, we're gonna buy the asset, but we're just gonna take over their loan. We're not gonna go get a new mortgage, we're not gonna bring in any cash, we're just gonna step into their loan. Now, on our acquisition team, this is a strategy we are pursuing pretty aggressively because if I find a buyer who purchased a property 18 months ago, what is their rate on the loan that they got? What is their rate from 18 months ago? Three and a half. And if I were to go get new financing to purchase that property, what would my rate be? Five and a half. So we can right now buy houses at retail price. So if the house sold last year for 350,000, I can pay $350,000 for that exact same house right now, even though it's only worth 300. Because I'm getting a rate at three and a half, not five and a half. So I can pay par pricing, retail price, and still cash flow, okay? So that is strategy number one. Strategy number two, seller financing. Asking the seller to carry the mortgage when we buy the property. Now I shared with this you guys a few, a few weeks ago, we bought a house, no money down, and the seller is carrying the loan at three and a quarter? Three and a quarter. If we get a bank loan, it's five and a half. The seller is carrying financing at three and a quarter. Do you know why? One capital gains, by carrying financing, they don't get this windfall of cash that they've got to 40, pay 40% capital gains on, okay? Two, what's the second reason sellers right now are more interested in seller financing than ever before? Yeah, say that again. Passive, Passive income, why? Okay, if you sell your house and get 400 grand and you're a retiree, where are you gonna put $400,000 that you get at least three and a quarter percent interest? Where are you gonna invest it? Anybody looked at the stock market lately? Is that the right place to store money? No, anybody looked at cryptocurrency lately? Is that the right place to store money? Okay, so if they sell it, where do they put it? They put it in the bank. Uh, I don't have it on here, but there was a, uh, I got a promotional uh, yesterday from I believe it was Idaho Central Credit Union. Right now they are offering on a five-year CD, which means you've got to give them your money for five years, they will give you 2.02% annual return on your money. With inflation at nine, how much are you losing on an annual basis? Seven. That seems like a good investment, okay? It doesn't. 
So our clients need to know seller financing. Anybody that owns their home free and clear right now and sells it for cash is a crazy person because where are they going to stick the money that they're going to outperform inflation?